Yep, we have to find the spawnery and take it out. Got it. Thanks. It might be there. Just because we've removed the fog of war doesn't mean jack. Because your ability to actually see it is actually somewhat independent of the fog of war because the designers of this game occasionally made really dumb decisions. So it's either in that corner or it's on one of those two spaces would be my guess because of how large the spawnery is. I don't think it could really have fit anywhere else on here that I can see. <sighs> what did you see? Nothing of any real importance. Keep moving. I really wish that it would actually show you the enemy that your soldier spotted because I swear trying to figure that out sometimes i think the ones over there which are melee one's a siren which isn't great but that one's bad the marksman okay that actually changes where i want to put you go there instead Is that one a scourge? So it has some ranged. Great. So it's either there or there, would be my guesses. And that's just a terror sentinel. It's not going to do anything unless we get close enough to bother it. So just move. the turn in cover so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep you up here yeah you're gonna have to go down there I don't think those ones have actually been alerted yet because they're not coming towards us at the moment, but thank you. On the trigger. Yeah, let's get rid of the mind control and the psychic scream, shall we? I mean, the melee's bad enough, but it at least gets us some, rid of some of the worst stuff that it could do. I would just like to point out that's two sniper rounds and two shotgun blasts, and it's not dead yet. I feel like the game went more than a little bit overkill with how tanky some of the enemies are at this point. 
Especially considering that I haven't really gotten much in the way of new armor for my soldiers. I don't know if that's my own fault and there's stuff that I should have been researching that I just haven't. But it feels like the enemy is exponentially tankier than any of my people. Like to, to the point that frankly, it's kind of ludicrous at this point. Okay, there's the spawnery. So basically we need to haul tail over there Take that out and then evac. That's our goal. As far as I'm concerned, the enemies over here don't matter unless they actually start coming in towards us, which they probably will because gunfire has a way of drawing attention. But for now, I care more about the ones over here that are actually in between me and the goal. You uh, said you could help out. Just panic that one. And I can't walk on that section, even though it says I should be able to. Thank you, game. You can go there then. Apparently hasn't figured it out. I'm fine with that. I would be way more into the stealth aspect here because I'm starting to see where it could be useful. But the problem is the game does a really, really bad job of conveying which enemies are alerted and what actions may or may not alert them. I don't feel like I I feel like trying to play that game would just turn into me save scumming because I can't tell what I can get away with. Which does not sound like a fun time to me. Okay, might have you war cry. We'll see. Okay, you keep booking it up here to join these guys. Really wish you could stand there like it says you can. him to panic again but honestly he's the one we have the best chance of actually being able to take out hop over here because you're in his way her way <laughs> right you dazed him he'll probably bleed out Okay, we're gonna go for a war cry. If it also hits him, it does. <laughs> so that'll limit what he can do. We're just gonna hang out right here, restoring people's will points and hopefully not getting shot. Artemis, I really wish I could get you a little further up. No such luck. You here. Okay, 
Dashing ahead. Uh, I can put you there. I don't know why it's suddenly deciding to work for a second, but I'm not going to argue. Alright, if something gets like really stupidly close, you can go ahead and try. was expected, but at least it didn't technically count as shooting as our own person. Okay. What have we got? Okay, that marksman... The marksman and the poacher are definitely the priorities here. I may war cry again to try to keep these two down. We'll see. Care, whatever you saw, just keep going. Finger on the trigger. Okay, this will remove its ability to do pain chameleon, so we can keep shooting it. Okay, whatever you're looking at, do not care. Onward. Dead. Marksman's definitely the bigger threat, but there's no way in hell you're going to actually hit it, so let's just get rid of that thing. Bess, you keep running up. Positioning. All I need is a clear shot. Oh, you can panic him? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Do that. Back into your little corner. You're gonna war cry again just to keep that one locked down because I can't remember what it is and I would rather not find out the hard way. Okay, well, if he's gonna be panicked, that's a terror sentinel, so it's not something that's gonna be actively shooting at you. So you can just move up a little further, maybe? Okay, yeah, you can actually see what that thing is now. It is a foot pad, not the worst thing in the world. Especially since it's been war cried. I'll we'll put you way. here, though, and not run you up quite as far. He's gonna run. Which, I mean, I wish he hadn't done, but I'll take it over him shooting at me. Oh, great. Changes our priorities just a smidge. We need to take out that siren. Uh, of course you can't technically see it from there. 
Okay. We have a fair bit of will left, so we're just gonna quick aim these. Targeting. Uh, no it didn't. You took out its head. So, I am extremely happy. Still gonna be really bad if it manages to melee us, mind you, but we at least don't have someone mind controlled on top of everything else. Go ahead and just freak it out. Thank you. Should keep that under some level of control. And you keep moving. It really depends on how it runs, but we can try. <laughs> Keep that war cry going. And on the off chance that that thing actually does run up, shoot it. Zooming in. Mike, lucky. You never know. Very nice. For that range, I'll take even one of those bullets hitting. The viral damage should keep its will low enough that it can't mind control us again for a while. So, oh boy, that hurt. Okay, good, good, go for that. Hey, I'll take it. Okay, um, which one of you got hit? Which one of you got hit? It was one of the snipers. It was Alfred. Alfred, you need to heal yourself or someone needs to heal you. Um, I mean, Barnabas could maybe heal you up. Okay, what all could you panic? You could panic that thing, which might be useful. Yeah, do that. Then go here. Or there. Stopping there is fine, actually. And heal up Alfred. Thank you. Alfred. Let's blast them. We need you to shoot things. There, he's gonna pain chameleon, but that's at least got him hurting. You're gonna put you there. Cry again. Preparing to fire. Shoot this thing. Tug it down. Thank you. Let's do this. Ready to fire. And yeah, this thing's panicked, but we may as well 
take a crack at it while we can. I how how did that I just don't even know I didn't I knew it wasn't a guarantee it would hit the arm but dang I figured it would hit let's blast them if nothing else the viral damage should keep the panic kind of rolling along I need is a clear shot. Actually, yeah, you're out of ammo right now, so here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna swap out the neural pistol, you're gonna heal yourself, or, well, no, not yourself, I tell a lie. You're going to go heal your friend. Do you feel okay? <laughs> That's gonna be a tough shot for you to make unless someone takes the shield off for you. Ready to rock. Are you hurting me? Since apparently nobody can hit anything for crap today. trusting that shot because if she doesn't fully kill it it will pain chameleon again <clears throat> i swear if i have to have you jump over there and bludgeon it to death i will absolutely do it however I could try this it's just if it doesn't work of course not. Okay, up in the corner. Why is this no longer? I I don't. Is there a hole there? I there is. Okay, it's just weird and really hard to see, and I hate whoever designed this terrain. I have a personal problem with you at this point because I cannot see very well here or tell what's going on with the map. Let's blast them. I'll be right there. In my sights. Thank you.
Switching. Yep, get that done. War cry again. People were in range to get the extra will points. He is panicking this turn due to the viral damage. So by the time he can do anything again, he'll have bled out. We can ignore him from here. So the viral damage actually did end up helping more than I frankly gave it credit for. There's something coming up behind us. It might be that siren, but the siren was bleeding too. So if we can just sort of keep running in this direction, we may just outpace it and it'll bleed to death or at the very least be forced to come out where we can hit it because we need to be making progress in this direction because we need to have enough ammo when we get over here to actually destroy this thing. And oh me, oh my, does it have a lot of health. Okay. Yeah, we, we need to head this way. Okay, what did you see? What are you, what are you on about? I just, I don't even know anymore. Keep moving. Okay, there's that one. We can kind of war cry to keep him vaguely under control, but we should probably take care of him. If I just bludgeon you twice, will that work? It might. Bonk. Bonk. Okay. He's not completely dead. Uh, you can't get in range, can you? Yeah, no, that would be your last action point, which means you don't. You could war cry to keep him from doing too much, but that's about it. Or, no, you, you can shoot him. You can shoot him with your pistol. That'll do it. There's going to be precious few spots we can shoot that from other than literally on top of it. So I guess that's where we're going. I'm going in. Switching. Advancing. Some infection, great. That's a poacher, great. Wish medkits did anything for viral damage. I know they heal some paralysis damage, but I don't think they do anything for viral. Yep, nope, you don't have a good launch angle.
them on the move. get the tours though but didn't work out Right there. I know how paralysis works. Shut up about it. Well, this can't be happening. Okay, now he's freaking out because he's taking way too much viral damage. Ready to engage. Oh, I'll destroy. At least no one else is going to end up paralyzed. Now. Ideally, if we can keep Barnabas calm for half a second, he could go over and use a medkit on you so that you could start moving again. We'll see. Okay. I guess shoot the egg pods. Okay, I kind of need you over here so that you're helping Barnabas hopefully not be completely freaked out. Tiny bit of viral damage on that Hellion. Wow, that was a good shot. Okay, that amount of viral damage should keep that uh, that siren from bothering us, which is good considering we've got a couple people who are struggling to move right now. Overwatching. Aiming. Target here. Targeting. Might be better to have you step out just a little bit. Acquiring target. So that you could get its arm. Gotcha. That'll make it a lot easier for other people to potentially hit it. Taking aim. Ah. 
Moving now. Be right there. Zooming in. Succeeded. Confirming target. Okay, at this point, it is taking 400 points of bleeding damage a turn. It is dead in three turns. I don't know. I might have Lisa take out that last freaking egg pod. But we should probably start focusing on just trying to get everybody out. Which is probably going to be tricky in its own right. Let's go. Moving out. Is a clear shot. Succeeded. You said all three of those would hit. It looked like all three of those would hit. What the hiffle happened? Aiming. Dead now? Okay, yeah, that thing's dead in two turns. We just need to leave. And that's the siren over there. Which, unfortunately, Barnabas decided to run towards. He literally could have picked any other direction to run and been safer. Oh, my God. 
My head. I can't breathe. Okay, he's recovered some will points. Hopefully next turn we can just have him running. That thing is dead when its round starts, so we don't need to waste time on that. You are completely out of ammo for that gun at least, so to the pistol you go. And while I know it would be faster for you to go around the other way, I'm going to pull you around this way just in case you need to shoot something with that pistol to help these guys get out because they're not in the best of shape. I'm going. Overwatcher. Smells like trouble. I'll stay behind. Like the wind. I killed Barnabas with no health left. Oh, no. Okay, Barnabas, you have permission to heal yourself. Need to rest. Okay. Bonk. it would just end when you took out the spawn array like the hatching missions this is just why is there a crate in there yes yes there is okay um happy accident that i noticed that i guess so the weird buildings occasionally have things in them good to know the game didn't mention that at all okay i don't do we even have an assault on the steam i don't think we do so it's just gonna be whoever can be arsed to pick this up let's rock up we have neural pistol magazine a one of the magazines for the cinderian sniper rifle that we use a crossbow quiver a missile and two packages of mutagens cool Dagmar, you can go ahead and skedaddle. Barnabas. Recover, because otherwise you're going to panic and then recover, and it's going to be losing two turns instead of one. You just keep slow and steady wins the race, I guess, Alfred. Overwatching. 
you're actually gonna stay because gonna we down. may end up needing you. Like the wind. Hoping that you can like run this turn and recover next turn. Okay, you are going to spend this turn recovering so that you can hopefully help these guys make it out. Okay, no. If it takes them below zero, they panic immediately. Good to know. So he's going to panic and then recover and yada 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 yada. All right, Alfred, you can go ahead and just go. You're paralyzed to some degree, and that's going to really limit your usefulness. And yeah, finally recover from the virus. So let's just everybody go. I'm really glad that apparently, I don't know if just at a certain point they stop spawning or if it's because we took out the building and they stopped spawning. But I'm really glad that the game gave us a break there at the end. Although, jeez, that siren just about managed to take out Barnabas. Right at the end. 